Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm back again with a pretty cool and useful circuit. If you're an electronic circuit enthusiast or have a keen interest in Arduino and its circuits, then you will definitely find this video useful and interesting. If you ever wondered how you can use the Arduino to turn motor in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction using coding, then you might have heard the word motor driver. There are various motor drivers available out there in the market. Of different power ratings, the most common motor driver for the brushed DC motor is L293D. But unfortunately, L293D cannot ho hold large currents. L293D is quadruple high current half edge bridge IC. Its output current is 600 milliamps and peak output current is 1.2 amperes. If the current exceeds 1.2 amperes, then it may lead to malfunctioning of IC. So in order to deal with this limitation, I further extended the circuit using 4 MOSFETs. That is 2 N channel and 2 P channel MOSFETs. You can get the schematics on the instructable. Now let me show you this circuit in action. Ah, one more thing I forget to mention is that after extending the circuit using MOSFET, it can handle current more than 10 amperes. So here you can see the code that I have written. It's pretty simple code. In this code, I have declared two variables of integer type that is LED and LED1. One for the one input of L293D and LED1 for another input of L293D. In the first case of the loop, I have typed digital right LED high and digital right LED low, following with the delay command that is delay of 4000 that is 4000 implies 4 seconds and then next after the delay of 4000 milliseconds I have written delay right LED low and digital right LED high LED1 high with this commands after uh, there will delay of four, 400 milliseconds now let me show you the circuit in action so here you can see in the multimeter first the voltage goes to 7.76 positive polarity and on the other hand and then after 4 seconds it gets to minus 7.77 volts and this cycle repeats. Now let me show you the motor running after 4 seconds motor runs in clockwise direction and another after another 4 seconds the motor runs in anti-clockwise direction so this was a high power half HP circuit controlled by the Arduino one more interesting thing I would like to share with you and that is if you live in India or in a country having household supply of 220 volts and 50 Hertz frequency then the advantage of this circuit is that you can make a sine wave signal by just changing the frequency of the signal or the circuit that is it oscillates at 50 Hertz it implies that the current or voltage will reverse its direction after every 20 milliseconds or 0.02 seconds you may wonder how can we change the frequency of the signal so it's pretty simple just change the delay value to 20 as thousand in the delay means one seconds so 20 in delay means 20 milliseconds now let me change the delay value to 20 so here as you can see I have changed delay value to 20 now I will show you that this circuit generates similar voltage but that is of sine nature this is the case when I have switched the DC side of the multimeter and it's giving me values that is of very small voltage but when I turn the switch on to AC side then it will give me the voltage of about 7.7 7 around voltage on the AC side let me show you so here as you can see it's giving me 8.1 voltage on, on the AC side so with this circuit you can make sine wave 
also so thank you for watching this video hope you guys like it please like and subscribe my video and like and subscribe my channel and also press the bell button uh, thanks again